3 raised to power s minus 4 raised to power s is equal to square root of 12 raised to power s minus 16 raised to power s. What is the value of s? Hi, everyone. Welcome to my class. In this class, we want to find the value of s from this given nice Olympiad mathematics question. But before we proceed, please don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Thank you. Solution. The given equation, we have 3 raised to power s minus 4 raised to power s is equal to square root of 12 can be written as 4 times 3 raised to power s minus 16 is 4 times 4 raised to power x. Now, let's square both sides of the equation. 3 raised to power s minus 4 raised to power s square is equal to square root of 4 multiplied by 3 raised to power s minus 4 multiplied by 4 raised to power s all square. This one will cancel this. We have 3 raised to power s minus 4 raised to power s square is equal to 4 multiplied by 3 raised to power s minus 4 multiplied by 4 raised to power x. Take note of this rule that if you have a multiplied by b to the power of n. This is equal to a raised to power n multiplied by b raised to power n. Then we have 3 raised to power s minus 4 raised to power s square is equal to 4 raised to power s multiplied by 3 raised to power s minus this 4 raised to power s multiplied by 4 raised to power s. This is 3 raised to power s minus 4 raised to power s all square is equal to from here we can see that 4 raised to power s is common. Let's bring it out. 4 raised to power s bracket 3 raised to power s minus 4 raised to power x. Now let's bring this to this side. We have 3 raised to power s minus 4 raised to power s square minus 4 raised to power s bracket 3 raised to power s minus 4 raised to power s. Everything is equal to 0. Now from here, let 3 raised to power s minus 4 raised to power s is equal to y. Now let's see, we have y square minus 4 raised to power s bracket y is equal to 0. Then this is y square minus 4 raised to power s y is equal to 0. Now y is common, let's bring it out. We have y bracket y minus 4 is to power s is equal to 0. Now from here, there are two cases here. y is equal to 0 or y minus 4 is to power s is equal to 0. But y is equal to 3 raised to power s minus 4 raised to power s. Then from the first case here, we have 3 raised to power s minus 4 raised to power s is equal to 0. That is from y is equal to 0. So we have 3 raised to power s. Now if you go to what? 4 raised to power s. Let's divide both sides by 4 raised to power s divided by 4 raised to power s 
divided by 4 raised to the power s. This one will cancel this. 1. Then this is equal to 3 raised to the power s over 4 raised to the power s is equal to 1. Then we know that if you have a raised to the power n over b raised to the power n, this is equal to a over b raised to the power n. 3 over 4 all raised to the power s is equal to 1. Now let's take the log of both sides. Then we have natural log of 3 over 4 to the power of s is equal to natural log of 1. s natural log of 3 over 4 is equal to natural log of 1. Now let's divide both sides by natural log of 3 over 4 then divided by natural log of 3 over 4. So this one will cancel this and s is equal to natural log of 1 over natural log of 3 over 4. But we know that natural log of 1 is 0 and 0 divided by this is 0. Therefore, x1 is equal to 0. This is from the first case. Now, let's consider the second case. Then the second case is y minus 4 is to the power s is equal to 0, but y is equal to 3 is to the power s minus 4 is to the power s. Then we have 3 is to the power s minus 4 is to the power s minus 4 is to the power s is equal to 0. So this is 3 raised to the power s minus 2 multiplied by 4 raised to the power s is equal to 0. Now let's bring it to this side. We have 3 raised to the power s is equal to 2 multiplied by 4 raised to the power x. Let's divide both sides by 4 raised to the power x. This divided by 4 raised to the power x divided by 4 raised to the power x. This one will cancel this. We have 3 raised to the power s divided by 4 raised to the power s is equal to 2. Also, take note of this that if you have a raised to the power n over b raised to the power n is equal to a over b raised to the power n. Therefore, 3 over 4 raised to the power s is equal to 2. Now, let's take the log of both sides. We have natural log of 3 over 4 to the power of s is equal to natural log of 2. Now, s natural log of 3 over 4 is equal to natural log of 2. Now, let's divide both sides by natural log 3 over 4. Then, divided by natural log of 3 over 4. This one will cancel this. S is equal to natural log of 2 over natural log of 3 over 4. But remember this, that if you have natural log of A over B, this is equal to natural log of A minus natural log B. So this become S is equal to natural log of 2 over natural log of 3 minus natural log of 4 and this is the final answer then we can simplify further if we simplify further by using calculator we have s will be equal to natural log of 2 is 0 0.3010 over then 0 0.4771 minus 0 0.6021. Now, then S will be equal to 0 
3010 divided by if you subtract this from this you have minus 0 0.125 therefore s will be equal to minus 2.408 this is also the final answer if you enjoyed the class please don't forget to like share comment and subscribe thank you